the boy. Thanks for calling you, Miss Elizabeth. Because I'm about to be macho man. Because I'm about to go savage. Oh. <laughs> like. <laughs> Elizabeth was macho man. Man, he said it just right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss Elizabeth. You didn't know this. Yeah. What? In an era where <laughs> wrestling was actually entertaining, it was about being a man. Being a manly man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having the biggest muscles and the biggest suplexes and the biggest power bombs. Give me a Pokemon. Give me. Pokemon, or give me You can catch my Pokemon, but you'll never catch my freedom! <laughs> <laughs> she got me all jacked up on sugar gummies. I no such thing. You and then got me high on that, <laughs> so I got energy and I baked out of my mind. And then she made me go live. She said she'd kill me. I'm gonna die I'm if I don't do it. Don't argue with her, she'll kill me anyway. Gotta keep it between me and you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I so good, Carol? How did you let me eat so many gummies? Excused. <laughs> <laughs> now what? I've excused you. <laughs> I have to with how many gummies you Uh, you definitely had something to do with it. You definitely had it over to me. In Spain. You you're an enabler. You are you're an, an enabler. enabler. So this is you chose to eat all the You're a gummy enabler. Me too, CNY. I'm trashed and full of gummies because Miss Peace House stuffed me full of gummies like a fucking Thanksgiving turkey. And now my belly feels like it's made of liquid inside. Oh. I can't lie, though. They were fucking delicious. Delicious gummies. The God damn it, Carol. She could have said no. She wasn't a normal wife, my dude. She wasn't like, no, you can't eat all of the good things. You can only eat the bitter. She was like, yeah, dude, I got you back. Eat as many as you want. <laughs> Throwing them at me like Edge <laughs> with a pair of jerkins. <laughs> that would have happened at all. Fucking whipping them. I did not. I did not. I did not. She came running up on the wall, started hucking them down. <laughs> Had to eat them before they killed me. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, blame the victim. I asked for it. Sure, the ninja gummy assault. Who asks for that? 
That's how shit happens. See? He, he said it. You made him eat it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Kim. I'm just giving you a hard time. Don't be a fault yet. Be later. Be like, oh, I met you. Fuck me. Those goddamn gummy. I get it, Kim. <laughs> you know what I have to do? Do the thing, you have to make the thing, do the thing, you know, hello kitty cat. All you do is a do the kitty kitty. Wow. Our dad, I give the tags. Oh my. Hello. Castillo picture? Oh. How do you like it when I whip my hair around to you, fool? Mow. Yeah, is that it? Just meow, meow, brown cow. Hey, me too. No, the cat kept putting her tail like right across my face and just brushing my face lightly. So I started whipping my hair around side to side at her and brushing her tail with it. And then she stopped. And now she's sitting here looking directly away from me while sitting right next to me. Showing me her defiance. She's like, I am sitting next to you, but I will not look at you. I get it. It's okay. I just play the same catish games my cat plays with me back. Oh, you're going to put your hair in my face? Here. Let me dangle my hair back in yours. You're going to rub your head against my face? Let me rub my face against your face. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't get shredded on my face. Because I certainly get my hands tore up. That is a real thing. Cats will fuck your hands all the way up. Nearly every time. should do care. We should melt down a bunch of gummies, right? And put it in a jug of water. Right? 
stir it every day, shake it up real good, and get some brewer's yeast, and put it in there, and make gummy liquid wine. Gummy liquid lemonade? Go on. Go on. <laughs> or just. You haven't said enough? Or just put <laughs> the vodka in a glass jar or You've something? You've said enough right there. The vodka. vodka glass, glass jar. jar that's and then put a bunch anything of after that's alright. And then just put a bunch of gummies in it. <laughs> let them dissolve until into they the liquid fucking gummy juice yeah. mm. <laughs> it takes like six weeks to melt them all melty vodka gummies <laughs> holy fucking shit balls Put it two times, motherfuckers. <laughs> rum, rum, rum. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? I'll kick in some ass. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Says, who the fuck is that? Oh, Raphael one. Um, that is Raphael. Oh my god, I can't remember his last name, but he's one of my viewers from Norway. I know his name, too. Like, if he were to come in here and say his name, I'd be like, fucking Christ, and freak out. But I, I literally, at the moment, I'm higher than that shit, and I can't even remember my own last name. <laughs> no. But, um... I do have to go ahead and meal, meal, meal right here. Plus five. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3. 23 entries total. That's a motherfucking Kangas Khan, boy Who the bag of dicks is that? I mean, I think that actually works, but Spot. Who the bag of dicks is that? I, I think I can start saying that. Who the bag of dicks are you? <laughs> Who the fucking bag of dicks do you think you are? <laughs> God damn. Things is going on here. Exactly. See? Outcast gets it. True 054 coming in the house. Hootie hoot hoot. What's up? What's happening, my guy? How you doing today? What you up to? How's life been treated? Yeah. Hopefully pretty well. Oh snap, that's a thousand biddies. Let me uh get you a little uh, appreciation. Mm. 
my kitty. Oops. She got upset that I was giving the imaginary kitties attention and came to say hello to me. Hello, kitty cat. Hi. No, I do not want to see your butt. I know you'd love to show me, though. I do not want to see. I tell you every day, I don't want to see your buttocks. I never have. Fucking righteous, my guy. I can appreciate that as I am pretty fucking I'm obscenely by myself. I'm thinking about getting another dad once this cat leaves me alone. Because I'm actually enjoying the attention from the cat greatly right now, even though I'm screaming and I shouldn't be enjoying the cat attention. You hear that? That's because I set her over on her side. Now she's sitting on me and purring like a motherfucker. She over here like a motorboat, man. That's mother chaos. That's what that is. I haven't fought that dude. I'm you're here to kill me. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> We're gonna have to start calling you Jack. Because <laughs> you're here to kill me. She just grips with three of her little toes. Okay, well, she's just like, oh. All right. Look like a little bird claw. But instead, it was made of cat. So, the cat claw. <laughs> He's like, and that laugh, I'm out of here. I do not know what this crazy dude's up to, but I'm out of here. Out of here, motherfucker.
I looked up a couple guides on this fight just to see if I was doing it right, and they won by RNG. Every fucking one of the guides I seen that actually won. Won by RNG. This battle sucks. There's no way to get an advantage. And everything's hard. And hates you. You had me to stop. I'll roll us a cigarette. Yeah, get this out of your way. His name is John C. I just walked in love it. <laughs> and his name is John Motherfucking Cena. <laughs> What up, Spade and Jester? How's it going? Hopefully everything's well on your end of things. <laughs> Gallons, bitches. That's right. We don't play when it comes to hydration around this motherfucker. <laughs> Not at all. We got gallons of water at a time. We don't run out. I'm married. I ain't had to be thirsty in about 10 years, motherfucker. <laughs> Player commendation with Brody Lee. I'd be a proof. That's being a proof if you don't. I don't think I beat that one. Is that new stuff? Level 70. So that's what? Stormwood? 
Endgame. Can't be Shadow Bringers Endgame, because that's level seven, level eighty. Level ninety is the next. Endwalker, that's level ninety shit. That has to be Shadowbringer stuff. Or not Shadowbringer, uh, Stormblood stuff. Not to be confused with Stormbreaker, which is Thor's axe. Which is not to be confused with Mjolnir, which is his hand. Also, Odin's hand. Bestowed upon Thor. Cause fuck yeah. No shit. Motherfucker. Boot it or get booted upon, my friends. Let's go, dropping them like bad habits. Let's go. That's enough of that guy's bullshit. Got completely clapped out of existence. with this team is fuck that. Not a fan of getting annihilated.
What a dick. Sirs. Killed him. Ah, garbage. That would have been the perfect opportunity to. I think we'll be able to take him. We should. Defeated Gustav? How? Did he have nowhere to run? Is that it? I'll take it. I don't know how I just fucking won that, but I'm totally with it. 100%. Fuck yes. Please, God, yes. Fucking right. It's save time right after this shit. I don't even know how it was logical that I won that, but I did it. Because fuck them. I did more damage to them than they did to me, and they couldn't go diagonally to the left or to the right. And for some reason, it didn't push them up. They just got deleted. That was fantastic. So after the Battle of South Mountaintop, the lords gather at Han Nova. The lords meet for the official signing of the peace treaty. The lords and independent cities across the world sign this treaty. The treaty becomes known as the Han Nova Treaty after the location in which it was signed. After signing this treaty, the notable lords gave their speeches. To this day, the speech of David, Count of Jade, the central figure of the treaty, remains in the heart of the people. My people, we have finally reached this day. From all over the world, people have gathered to work hand in hand to achieve our peace. Yet, much sweat and tears have been shed. The animas of many have been lost. We must not forget their precious sacrifices. This peace we have today, we owe to the hardship and efforts of our predecessors. 
especially the founder of this city of Han Nova. Gustav the Steel, he has brought upon us a new era of steel and artistry. Among all of you, there might be those that look upon Lord Gustav as the disruptor of order, summoner of battles, and of confusion. Yet, what Lord Gustav has taught us is that we humans can become whatever we seek with our own will. He has proven to us that what people are or what they become is not determined by their birth or anima. Also, there were many around Lord Gustav who supported him throughout his endeavors. Even such a great man as Lord Gustav needed the aid of friends, trustworthy comrades who helped him achieve his goals. As for us, we will need even further cooperation amongst ourselves. Ideally, my father Charles would have been here, standing today. Swear to you, I will. I will swear to utilize all of my resources to uphold and defend this treaty. <clears throat> right, right, Doc. I'm telling you, that was a hell of a fight. True to his words, David defends the treaty to the end. During the fifty years until his anima returns to nature, the treaty lives on. Many have named this period the Peace of David. Oh, I know. I don't... Honestly, I'm going to tell you, I have no idea how I actually won. Like, I couldn't tell you the actual reason I really won that battle. Other than maybe the, the enemy could not retreat when I knocked him backwards. So it deleted his unit. But now you get to see the full story of Gustav. This is the end of Gustav's storyline. I'd say that clip, that'll go for a uh, victory dab, yeah. Celebration of his lifetime. From him going to being an abusive friend because he was hurt and betrayed by his own father and isolated from his own society to becoming a blacksmith himself so that he could forge his way out and become more than just a useless non-spellcaster who couldn't do anything for himself, not even inherit his own birthright. <laughs> Motherfucker, why were you not thank you? Sorry, the dad decided to fight me. <laughs> Him and his buddy Flynn invaded the kingdom of Wide by finding late at night the emergency exit and using it to take his troops in 
and usurp the kingdom. That's fine. <laughs> he then used all of his resources that he had obtained through conquering wide to go back home and prove himself to himself. Basically, a, a symbolic coming of age for himself. From becoming a bratty, non consistent asshat to becoming a man. And he took his. He took his inheritance back. And then convinced his own brother, who basically. His whole life was fucked because of him. So he was gonna kill him. Philippe did not like it at all. Because Philippe is also his mother's mom. Or his mother's son. They are blood brothers. And basically because of Gustav, his mom got banished as well. Because she wasn't gonna, you know, give up her son. And let him just basically be killed or whatever. And um, Philippe blamed him for it the whole time. Because she left when he left. He was too young to understand it at the age of five. And then when Philippe's son was old enough to take a throne, <laughs> one of fucking fake Gustav's men came in and killed his son. <coughs> so Philippe <coughs> grabbed the firebrand knowing it would steal the rest of his anima <coughs> and killed the pursuer and in doing so became a red dragon. And then Johan join the group. After he was being pursued by assassins, Gustav found him in a, in a meadow, essentially right next to a well, where they were going to kill him. And because Gustav was there and could not sense Anima, he could see all of them standing there and there was absolutely no disguise on them, and they kind of took off. We're like, oh, fuck, I don't know who this guy is, but he seems like a very powerful wizard or something because he can see through our skies. So they were like, oh, we're going to book it the fuck out of here. Little did they know he just didn't have any on him. Well, he can't use or focus his on him. And then that's Johan's last stand there. He said he literally fought until he died. For Hot Nova. And then Kelvin kept him. Speedy going. Until he got old as fuck. And then his son kept things going. There he is at the age of like 60, 67, something like that. That's right before he died at the age of 71. And then his two sons are there taking care of business. And then his son Charles decided he was going to conquer Ah, Nova, but got killed by the fake Gustavs. 